What if I told you the impossible was possible? Now what if I told you that one man was responsible for the sheer audacity of that statement? Allow me to introduce you to Jesus. As the Christ incarnate stepped into the very narrative he wrote, everyone around him knew he was different. Truly this baby born under the most improbable circumstances had to be the King, the Messiah come to us, but I'm getting ahead of myself. To tell you this story, I'll take you to the beginning. You see, the Savior's story was in motion before man was ever caught up in sinning. Let's look at the Old Testament, a vast collection of books from different authors written over a 1,000 year period, containing nearly 300 prophecies about the coming Messiah. Now know this, every one of them, every last prophecy was fulfilled by Jesus. 600 BC, the prophet Jeremiah said he would come from the line of David. And in Luke, we see and read the power of his lineage. In Isaiah, we see his virgin birth foretold. And in Matthew, we know he proved true the scribes of old. Psalms 22, beginning in verse one, 1,000 years before Christ would even come. It gives us an account on how the savior would die. And in Luke 23, we see the Messiah on a tree with a criminal on either side. Let me put it this way. The odds of someone fulfilling just eight of these prophecies fulfilled by Jesus are astronomical. 10 to the 17th power astronomical. That's 10 with 17 zeros behind it. Imagine this, filling a landmass the size of Texas, two feet deep with quarters. Now mark just one of them. Have someone blindfolded, pick a quarter at random, and have it being that very same quarter you marked. Those are the kinds of odds we're talking about. Yet Jesus defies those odds. Why? Because he said he would and proved he could. If we attempt to wrap our minds around the facts that prove the Messiah, we inevitably come to the conclusion that surely this man was the son of God. Why? Because he said he was and proved he is. The mob crucified their savior and buried him in a tomb that wasn't his own, but his plan was so much bigger than his accusers could have ever known. Why? Because he said it was and proved it was. And at dawn on that third day, his light tore through the tomb, breaking the chains of sin off of me and you. Why? Because he said he would and proved he did. These are the reasons we worship our savior. These prophecies fulfilled only speak of his grandeur. These improbable odds are what Jesus overcame. And in these moments of realization, we should lift up his name. He did all of this with his eyes on our hearts, looking at us through time and space and his perfect work in us, no man could ever erase. He ascended to heaven and proved to everyone that he could, why? Why do every bit of this? Why go through all of it for you and I? Because he said he would.